What's up? What's happening? What is popping, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spizzards. I'm Simone, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help you this channel. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spizzards, a merch collection, get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the flower dye crew neck. And lastly, guys, if you do not do anything else, Turn your notification bells on so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. And I will be going live this week. Yeah. Um, tomorrow or when tomorrow, Thursday. I'm gonna be going live tomorrow or Thursday. So make sure you have notification bells on so you don't miss out. I'm also trying to figure out how I do like a call-in show where you guys can call in, but that's a lot of technology. <laughs> And that ain't my forte. But if any of y'all know, because I know some other people do call-in shows, if any of y'all know how they do that or whatever, let your girl know, you know what I'm saying, so y'all can call in and talk y'all she, you know what I'm saying? I'm always on here talking my she, but I want to hear y'all talk y'all she. But y'all, let's get into the video. So today we're talking about yesterday's practice, y'all. I was trying to give y'all this video yesterday. I was going to react to yesterday's practice yesterday like I do so well, you know, reporting for duty right after practice, you know how I usually do. But yesterday I had a whole fiasco. I was in the middle of recording this video but then I got locked out um I wasn't at home I was at the radio station Dylan was doing his show and they have a lot of rooms empty rooms so while he was doing his show I was going to do my um uh, video you know what I'm saying and I had my laptop and everything set up I was in the middle of recording a video I just stopped to take a bathroom break and then I came back all my stuff was locked in there y'all so I didn't get my stuff back till today so y'all getting this video today and yeah I know it's late but <laughs> It is what it is. But y'all, let's talk about everything that went down yesterday. So first of all, Devontae Smith was back at practice, okay? Devontae Smith, back at practice. We had a few people back at practice, but it's been a while since Devontae was at practice. And he really balled out. He did not show any sign of slowing down or any sluggishness from missing a couple of practices. So that's good to know. Um, so like I said, Devontae Smith saw pretty much all of the targets. He saw a a lot of targets. Jalen Hurst wasn't going to A.J. Brown as much, and he looked good. He had this one play where he burned James Bradbury on this deep touchdown and one-on-ones, and James Bradbury has been shut down at practice. So for Devontae Smith to be getting the best of James Bradbury is saying a lot because James Bradbury has been having the clamps on everybody at practice. But let's get into this soundbite from Devontae Smith talking about, you know, going against James Bradbury at practice. Seeing a more physical corner. Um, a bigger corner just helps me more instead of somebody like Slay that's just fast, very instinctive. So two different guys, two great guys. So they're, they're both completely different, but just being able to have that balance of one corner being real fast, real technical, and the other corner just being real physical. So that's really good to know that, you know, we have a mix of guys in the corner. But like he said, um, getting all that speed uh, from Darius Slay and then getting that size and physicality uh, from James Bradbury. So it's good to know that Devontae Smith and all the other receivers are getting, you know, different type of coverage and going up against different type of cornerbacks. And that's really going to help and shape their game, especially when we get into real game play where you're going up against all different kinds of cornerbacks. So that's really good to know. So Landon Dickerson and also Kenneth Gainwell and Jaquiski Tart were back at practice today. So it wasn't just Devontae Smith um, that was back. So we had a lot of stuff kind of go down yesterday at practice. Jalen Hurts didn't have the best day at practice yesterday. The offense was playing up against um, their own end zone. So again, up against like our own goal line and that pressure type of situation where, you know, you want to get the ball off, but you also want to be smart because you do not want to turn the ball over in that area because that's pretty much most of the time an automatic touchdown. Um, for the defense or, you know, putting them right in the red zone if you do commit a turnover. So this has been the – I think this is the third time since I've been reporting on practice that we have been um, – the offense has been starting against our own goal line. So that's definitely something that we're focusing on um, this offseason. So, you know, that's a lot of pressure Jalen Hurst is under in that situation. And, again, like I keep saying, that defensive line is no joke that he's going up against. But Jalen Hurst did not have the best day um, – at practice yesterday, some miscues, um, forcing the ball like to Devontae Smith, um, some mistiming, holding on the ball too long, and whatever. Um, so yeah, he didn't have the best day, but 
like I said, we will be having joint practices this week. So we'll be good to see Jalen Hurts up against some other teams versus our own. So that'll be interesting. I think joint practices Thursday and Friday. It's either Thursday and Friday or Wednesday and Thursday. So we will be getting into that on here. So, yeah, no alarms need to be sounded um, yet. <laughs> yet <laughs> okay but y'all let's get into some more beef so andre dillard beefing again at practice um andre dillard was going up against Derek barnett in one-on-ones guess Derek barnett was getting the best of andre dillard and there was a lot of chirpiness chirp 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 then there was some beef between andre dillard and patrick johnson and a punch was thrown andre dillard threw a punch at pa- patrick johnson swinging on your teammates all like that of course you're gonna be chirping with your teammates chirp 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 all day you know what i'm saying but swinging on somebody that's good i don't like that i don't like that so andre dealer really needs to get his stuff together i see some people reacting to that and saying like oh that's passion i like that game passion he's fueled up he's fired up and that's amazing love to see you feel fueled up and fired up we want you fired up but you need to be able to control your emotions like chirping is perfectly fine but getting to the point where you're swinging at your own teammate that's bizarre and when we're in a game type situation we don't need you getting thrown out the game because you don't swan if you're swinging at your own teammate that's your teammate what you gonna do to the op- opposition we don't need you swinging at nobody then you getting ejected we getting all these penalties we already got penalty issues last season we got to clean up we don't need you having a hot head and then getting all these flags 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 so get your g together andre basically get your g together so some other notes that we have to get into kaiser white had a really good day yesterday kaiser white has been balling he had an interception in the preseason game against the jets um he had there was a play yesterday where he punched the ball out of kenneth gainwell's hands pop just ball awareness and being a ball hawk i love it so josiah scott he worked out with the first team yesterday as safety over marcus epps um so that's interesting like i said when that first depth chart released you guys saw that i was like josiah scott is that one cornerback that made the roster like in that unofficial depth chart for the jets he was a cor- one of the young cornerbacks that was on the 53 man roster and um i was thinking that because he was versatile he can play um safety and now we are experimenting with us at, at safety at camp so that's something to keep an eye on um so Zach Pascal was looking really good at camp yesterday. Zach Pascal, somebody who we haven't talked about a lot right now. He's fourth on the depth chart at wide receiver. Um, he was going up against Mario Goodrich and Zach McPherson, who are again young cornerbacks, but still dominate Zach. I don't care. Um, Zach. Now we got Zach and Zach Lord. Dominate Zach. Even if you're going up against Zach. It don't matter who you're going up against. You need to be doing your best and that's showing that you know even though he's you know might be working out with the second unit or whatever he's still putting his thousand percent effort in so that's good to know um and lastly Davion taylor has been looking really good at camp i know we've been talking about nicobe dean we've been talking about tj edwards we've been talking about um kaiser white but nicobe um uh, not nicobe <laughs> my bad davion <laughs> davion <laughs> has been looking good at camp so let's keep an eye on him at linebacker but guys tomorrow we have some roster cuts so by 4 p.m tomorrow we have to cut five players from the roster we did have two cuts yesterday we have to be trimmed down to 85 but i'm gonna do a whole video tomorrow on the roster cuts and get you guys reaction get my reaction so we will get into the roster cuts tomorrow because tomorrow cuts and then i believe wednesday and thursday are joint practice day so y'all and then sunday we have our second preseason game so a lot is coming up here so make sure you guys are tapped in and tuned in to some of it does business make sure you like this video leave a comment subscribe keep rock with me check out the links down below buy me coffee help fuel this channel shop the official small the spins or its merch collection and i'll talk to you guys next time bye